Today I was planning to answer a different question, but I changed my mind this morning because I saw a post in the support group Injury Recovery BFFs and it really got me thinking because, you know, I know how difficult it was for me at the beginning. I never ever expected that my recovery is going to take me so long and I know that a lot of people are struggling with this because most of people are not prepared for, for this, that, the, that their recovery is going to take them so long because injury recovery, you know, it can take you weeks, months or sometimes even years and most people are not prepared for this. So I rescheduled all of my questions, well your questions and my answers and I decided that yes, today I'm going to be talking about this. So I'm going to share a part of Jane's post, today's post, and Jane wrote, I'm struggling this week with feeling like this process is taking an age. It's 12 weeks today since my surgery, I'm still in my moon boot, but pretty much full weight bearing and can walk in the boot without crutches. And then I just want um, to get on with my life now, so I'm feeling pretty impatient at the moment. And look, I know it sucks, it's not easy, and I bet that you weren't planning to get injured. You, you know, especially if you fractured your ankle or knee or hip or back, you're spending your days in bed or on the couch, and I bet that this is not the most pleasant experience. But here is the ugly and painful truth. This right now is your new normal life. This right now is your new norm and it doesn't mean that it's gonna be like this forever but you know the sooner you accept this the easier it's going to be for you because you're gonna stop fighting and resisting and you're just gonna go with the flow and I you know I know that this might sound crazy and a bit cuckoo like what do you mean I should just accept this and I'm not saying you know sometimes people are thinking well if I accept this that means that I give up and this is not the same accepting things and giving up this is not the same but just know that this is your new normal life right now and after this you know you're not going to go back to your previous life you're gonna move forward into your new better life improved life because injury recovery can really teach you a lot about yourself about your thought process about your body about how you accept others or what you're thinking about others you know there's so many times i see people when they're sharing their experience and a lot of the times they say well you know what i will never ever look at someone on the crutches the same again like i feel sorry for them right now and i know what they're going through and i i just want to go there and help them so you know injury recovery can be can be also a good thing but for you, the faster you accept this, the easier it's going to be. Not just for your body, but also for your soul. And you know, this whole experience might become more pleasant if this is even, you know, the term that you can use for injury recovery, you know? It's like, yeah, this journey is so pleasant. I know that it sounds crazy, but it's going to be easier for you. So my advice right now, if you are really struggling with this, my advice is, to take it one day at a time, to slowly adapt to this new normal life. So stop fighting and resisting this process and, you know, go with the flow. And I have to say that injury recovery, of course, it's tough. It's not easy and you will have days when you will feel down. That's completely normal. If you think about how it was before the injury, you had days when you feel bad. And, you know, I have to say, look, this morning and I really wasn't planning to do a video because I felt like crap and the weather here right now it's crappy it's really raining it's dark it's depressing and the best thing for me right now would be to go back to bed and just stay there to i don't know for the rest of the day but you know what then i was like you know there are people who have to hear this message today and it's going to help them tremendously so i sit down and i'm talking to you right now and even though I felt bad before, I just did it what I have to do. And you know, sometimes that means just take it one step at a time, one day at a time. And when you feel like shit, when you feel like really bad, just 
don't resist that as well don't try to repress those feelings let them out if you have to cry cry if you have to scream scream you know injury recovery is not easy but stop fighting and resisting this project uh, project process not project process and accept that this right now is your new normal life so this was today's tip and I hope it helps and if you think that this would help anyone else because I know there are people who are struggling, you know, just going through the day, um, please share this video with them and if you'd like to get a gift from me, then download the ebook Secrets to Best Recovery Practices No One Talks About and I know that it's gonna help you as well. So that was for today. If you have any questions regarding recovery, regarding your recovery, please send them my way and I'll see you next time. Love ya!